Greetings fellow Decepticons, Sad Blaster 1987 here with part 2 of both the Kishigi Neptune and Dino Volcano reviews. This time I'll be showing you how to combine both of them to become Spin of Thunder, the Spinosaurus Electrical Zord or Red Mako from Rear Soldier, which uh, in Power Rangers Dino Fury was called the Electro Zord. Now for this combination normally you would need the Biri Biri Sol, the yeah. Electro Dino Key, as it was called in America for this job, but since I don't own the Moser, Razor, Blade, or any of the other Gold Rangers roleplay equipment right now, I'll have to come back to that in a future review. Luckily, there are no lights or sounds involved or require such a thing, so I'll be able to use the Mera Merisol from Dime Volcano for this job. So, what you want to do first is take off the head of the motor rex component and then split off the front fins like so and remove the ammo knuckles from the sides as well if they've been pegged on like so the tail and these robot legs stay the way they are then take pretty much everything off of Dime Volcano as well split these in half and remove the Gigan Kishimio face mask as well, that'll come into play later. Then what you want to do is take the tail of Motor Rex and the tail and sail combo of Dime Volcano, peg them together like so. So these two pegs here and these here go together like so. Sometimes it takes a bit of finagling, so bear with me. I'm trying to negotiate a load of uh, combination parts and such like around a load of flexible rubber parts, so it's going to take a minute. So once that's pegged into place, you want to take the Dime Volcano leg pieces, make sure the lightning bits are facing outwards, and attach them like so to become the Spinosaurus legs, like so, with the ammo knuckles connecting to become a feet. This is why the tentacles on the ammo knuckles have got claw-like things molded onto them so that they can become the foot claws of this combination. Same on both sides, make sure the lightning details are pointing outwards. And connect the ammo knuckle to become the foot. Then what you want to do is take the front fins of Kishimi and Neptune, point them the other way so the Spinosaurus arms are pointing forward. Then angle the ratchet joint 45 degrees and connect them either side of the pegs on the head fin of Dime Volcano's head, pointed upside down, like so. And then what you want to do next is attach that to here, like so. Then connect this piece on here, like so. Swap out the gold green sole for the Mera Mera sole, like so. Then when you close the mouth, it'll pop up this little notch on the head. And then connect the most hand onto the Dime Volcano sail like so. And here we have Spino Thunder in all its glory. For size comparison, here is a gold reusol like so. And the currently headless Tiramigo battle formation because I've lost the red reusol in my collection somewhere. So. Bear with me a moment while I transform Tier Amigo back into dinosaur mode and you'll be able to get a proper view of uh, me. Combination in uh, size comparison form. Oops. It is sometimes easier to just let these arms pop themselves off and then reconnect them to be honest. Now 
and here we have Tiramigo and Spino Fonda together in their dinosaur forms, so you can see that although Tiramigo does have the height advantage with the, yeah, pointed upwards tail and the massive backpack cannons, Spino Fonda is still longer, proving once and for all that the Spinosaurus is superior to the Tyrannosaurus Rex in dimensions. So that more or less concludes my review of Spino Thunder because it can do all the same things for most of Rex code with its articulation. We've got the 360 degree ratcheted rotation of the neck, the massively wide mouth opening, and the ratcheted up and down arm movement of the shoulders here. So that concludes my review. I've been Sam Blaster 1987. Join me next time when I'll be combining Spino Fonda and Team Amigo together to form Gigant Kishiryu O. Till then, till all are one, and may the power protect you always.